What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya? Now in today's video, there is uh, no humor, no sarcasm, um, just a story and a confession that I have to tell you guys. The last month of my life has been an insane roller coaster of emotions, so many highs and so many lows. I I'm in kind of a state of shock right now. So this past weekend, something that I had been waiting for a few weeks to happen finally happened. And a brand new product that I've been working on for over a year has been leaked. And that is the Magic Star Concealer. The things that I'm about to tell you have been my nightmare that I have been living with for a few weeks now. So during this Blue Blood launch, which was the biggest um, success of my career, the biggest launch. It has been insane. We were number one trending topic all over um, the world. The sales were astronomical and I cannot believe we sold every unit. So if you were a part of that magic, thank you so much. Um, but you guys probably noticed that I was very silent on social media leading up to the launch. A lot of you were like, what is going on? Are you okay? Um, that's a two part question. Part one is I've been dealing with my birth mom being very sick. My mom has been doing very bad. And if you have been following me for a while, you know that we recently connected. So this has been very emotional with this massive launch, dealing with the health of my mom. Something else horrific happened. Um, I haven't told anyone this yet. Just me, my team and my family know. But two weeks ago, the morning of March 15th, I uploaded the reveal video for the Blue Blood collection. That night at around 1 a.m., one of my stock and shipping facility warehouses was broken into and over $2.5 million of product was stolen from me. <sighs> this is the biggest theft I have ever experienced in my entire career. This is the biggest hit as a brand, um, I am still shocked about the entire thing. Um, so I'm gonna explain to you the details because this weekend a photo popped up online, okay? A lot of you saw this. I did some uh, very nice asking people to remove photos that they um, graciously did, um, but the leak happened. It's out there and it started to trinkle and I was waiting. It's been about two weeks now since the burglary, right? And I have been waiting for this moment. I've been sitting here like, when is it going to pop up online? Are they going to try to sell it? Um, what are they going to do, right? So you guys are like, okay, what the f happened? How did, what is going on? So let me lay it out for you. <sighs> okay, so there's two parts to the story. There's the robbery, there's the leak. So the robbery, happened, like I said, about two weeks ago. Um, we have kept it very contained. Of course, Blue Blood was uh, announced, right? That night, full break-in. These people were professional. I fully believe it was an inside job. I think that it was someone who temporarily worked there who tipped them off. We have been getting deliveries at new facilities and things have been spread around. With Blue Blood, I wanted to make sure it was a fortress. So in the main building that you saw in the Shane series last summer, you saw a very uh, big glimpse into one of my warehouses, right? We have now several buildings in that complex and one of them was not secure enough. I am so horrified um, that someone knew it wasn't secure enough yet and they hit us really hard. They came in through the roof. It was a very professional job. It was a team of people. And when you watch footage of this stuff, it is so gut-wrenching to see people just take your shit and put it in a truck and steal something that I've been working on for so long. I don't even know how to explain it. Um, so I get a call as I'm flying home from Dallas. Me and my friend Nicole Lipstick Nick were teaching some makeup classes. So the robbery happened Friday. All weekend long, we had no idea. Monday morning, one of my employees shows up really early in the morning to start the day. Notice the cameras moved, the doors open. And that's when we figured out, wow, we've been broken into. So I'm getting on a plane. I have so much anxiety because I really don't know what's happening. You know, you know how stories are. It starts with, wow 
this happened. And then all the information starts trinkling in. And at first I was like, oh my God, did they like take some blue blood? Did they take all of it? Like you guys, I'll be very transparent. I know I've had production issues in the past of not being able to make things fast enough. I ordered the biggest quantity of blue blood. Like I invest a lot of money into that project. Um, so I was like, oh my God. I mean, there's no way they could have taken it all, right? We're talking like a million plus units here. So I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And I get news that some of the uh, Northern Lights highlighter palettes were stolen. Some of the, um, actually my entire shipment of new platinum ice, which was about 5,000 um, units, right? So how makeup works is you order, let's say, 50,000. As the lab starts to make them, they will start delivering. So from my purchase order, I got 5,000 uh, two days prior. They took that. They took thousands of Northern Lights. They took thousands of lip liners. And they took an entire shade of fucking concealer. Like, I have 30 plus shades in this amazing line. I am so proud of it. The formula is unreal and I'm so excited for you guys to experience it later this month. Um, I didn't plan on talking about it or showing things off today, but hi, things happen, um, right? So, uh, you guys, they took an entire shade. So, shade, uh, and we'll dive into this in a minute, but shade C5, um, I have a few hundred left. They took thousands of these and I can't believe it. Um, so, a few days ago, the box finally pops online. We've been waiting for this moment. I have hired a whole entire um, investigative team to help me with law enforcement. We are in contact with FBI who are fully being amazing. Um, and this is really scary. It's unreal. Um, and when millions of dollars are involved and taken, I have never taken anything more serious. It's heartbreaking. I've been living with this um, inside and trying to keep happy. And then it's like, bam, this crazy launch. And then here we are. I knew it was going to happen the first leak. It hits. So here's where the story gets a little weird. Because for everyone out there watching, you may have never heard of the story before. I know there's millions of you out there who are like, what is happening? Um, I'm so sorry that you have to hear this. A lot of you saw some packaging, you saw the leak. So this picture right here is what one of my investigators found. Um, they put it on the Facebook marketplace and it was the first sign ever, right? I had a, I have a team of people scouring the internet anywhere in different countries, seeing where it would pop up, right? And um, it finally did. So the people who broke into my facility, they are black market makeup dealers. They have hit Anastasia um, about a year and a half ago. Like this news story was insane. Um, I don't know if it's the same people. We are of course fully trying to figure out what happened. Um, so whoever stole thousands and thousands of shade C5, then I think, because I don't obviously know how this fully works, I think that they then go to black market people who sell makeup, whether it's counterfeit or um, under the table, but there are obviously people who do that, which is very illegal. I couldn't believe that they were ballsy enough to post the photo holding it. Like that on itself is insane. It's so illegal to show something that you stole from our facility. Uh, so in my, in a lot of my uh, warehouses, we have cold storage, right? So when it gets hot in the summer, you put um, certain lip, like lip ammunition, skin frost, certain type of things in the cold storage. So it's a controlled temperature at 70 degrees always, right? The concealer was there and it was tucked away. So the first hour when the police came and were fingerprinting and we were looking at things, we didn't even know the concealer was taken. It took us doing inventory in the entire building to discover the shade missing. I couldn't believe it. I thought it was some sick joke. I'm like, an entire motherfucking shade? At, like, no. So C5 is floating out there. The picture that a lot of you saw online was from a girl that stole the original picture. My investigator saw this photo, right? We have been working with law enforcement and we actually tracked down this person. Um, this person is now in jail currently while we investigate how they got access to my product to then illegally sell it, okay? 
So this person is in jail. Um, the girl that leaked the photo, she is part of the problem because she hit up the black market dealer on Facebook, stole that person's photo, and then posted it in a Facebook makeup group going, hi, who wants this? Um, basically, the black market person told her, we can give you as much as you want. We have it early. And I'm like, common sense says maybe run away from that. That's like illegal drugs. Like makeup is hot commodity. And if something is, if I've never shown anything, if I've never talked about something and someone is holding it before me, you know it's wrong. But this girl took it upon herself to post it and spread it all over Facebook saying that she was going to sell it as well. Um, that girl has since... I guess, put up some dumb apology. Um, she knew exactly what she was doing. She got in trouble, so now she's trying to backtrack. I'm not even going to say her name. I've blurred out everything in these um, screenshots because this is not about specific people. This is an entire insane situation. So here we are. Um, we've tracked down some of the product, but there are still so many units floating out there. So if you guys see this packaging or... C5 before the launch, just know that it is stolen. It is illegal goods and I would love to try to get more of it back. To finish this entire story, I want to talk about the future, okay? I am a fighter. I'm a survivor. I have been through so many horrific things throughout my entire life. So how I view this is it is a massive learning experience for me and my company. Let's talk about some of the positives. Good news is, you know, bitch has full coverage insurance. So every single unit that was stolen from me, I will get the money back. Thank you, God, that the system works sometimes. Will I get all the units back? Absolutely not. There's already some being sold out there. While we were filming this video, there is a app where you buy and trade things like Poshmark and someone else has it. So these people are breaking off my product, probably giving a thousand here, a thousand to this person, sending it out to who knows where. So they're spelling my name wrong on purpose so you can't fully uh, track it. And there's my concealer, like right there. It's just like, it's it's like devastating just it's that this is even real. It's not gonna ruin my launch. A lot of, there's so many speculations like, are you gonna cancel the launch? Are you gonna move it? Are you gonna change the packaging? I'm like, first of all, not everyone's seen it. Now they have. Um, but I have been working so hard on this baby. I am so proud of it. You guys know, right? Like, here's my lip liners. I love cool, funky, custom, amazing packaging. This top alone, this plastic mold of just this, right? This took six months to make. This may be just a cute little thing to someone else, but I put so much blood, sweat, and tears into my brand. Um, and all this stuff costs extra money, right? Remember when I first started, I picked a blank a uh, component from my liquid lip off the wall, which so many people have used now. But everything I do moving forward, I want to do it custom. And you know makeup takes months and months to make. So, in saying that, I am not doing a full reveal of my Magic Star concealer and setting powders today. You guys know I want to control my reveal, and I still can. And the launch will be later in April. I am so proud of it. I cannot wait for you guys to touch and play with the formulas and see the full the full story of all 30 concealer shades and everything else. Um, there's eight setting powders. Now I know a lot of you have seen this component online now. There's a lot of mixed uh, opinions about it because the picture looks shitty, girl. A lot of you loved it, a lot of you hated it, a lot of you had mixed feelings because you thought it was counterfeit and maybe not real. Um, but I customized this beautiful princess cut uh, diamond shape packaging with with gold, with the star on top, and no, it is not uh, cheap. It is very nice um, metal, and it is really, really beautiful. I am so proud of it. I'm sure a lot of you have seen the blueprints of this leaked. Um, I know it was on a trademark website before, so it has kind of been buzzing around, but for something to be stolen, shown, and sold before it's even out is so crazy to me um and i can't even believe it's me i'm sitting here still just so numb now right there's been so much going on in my life i'm like whew, we're all gonna take a deep breath after this but um in ending this video i don't know what's gonna happen in the future i know that i will never be broken into again <laughs> i know that i know that these boxes of my concealer, right? I'm just gonna show y'all. This is what the boxes come like. These are heavy and they stole hundreds of these boxes and this is how they come, right? 
and I can't believe it. I, I'm just sitting here like, wow, this is crazy. So when will the official launch be? I am about to fast track that and probably push it up a little bit, but I have spent so much time, love, and energy, and so is my entire team on this, from the campaign images we haven't shown yet, to the product shots, to the new feature on the website, to everything. So I'm gonna do the reveal on my terms in a few weeks, and I cannot wait for you guys to come on the new journey of the Jeffree Star Cosmetics first ever skin products. So uh, if you've made it this far, thank you for listening. I just had to get this off of my chest and share what has been going on because I know a lot of you have noticed I've been a little off lately and uh, here's why. So <sighs> thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, if you see any stolen makeup, or counterfeit makeup even, because that is a whole nother subject. Um, please report it. You know, my social media is always open if you want to share anything that you see for us to track down or investigate. Um, I really appreciate it. So thank you, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.